I have some exciting news. I've scheduled our next cruise that we're going to take. It's been a long year. In fact, our last cruise was canceled due to the pandemic. But I'm starting to get more and more confident about the future. And so I went ahead and scheduled a cruise that's going to happen next year. And uh, I'll tell you later where we went on that one. But what I've decided to do is I want to do some travel videos. Well, traveling has been somewhat difficult here lately. Um, and so what I've decided to do is go back in time and look at some of the memorable trips that both Karen and I have been on. And one of the ones that stands out to me is the cruise that we took to the Mediterranean for our 25th wedding anniversary celebration. We left out of Venice, and in fact, I'll go ahead and show you this, um, this chart here that shows from Venice over to Athens and Kusadasi, which is where Ephesus is, Mykonos, which is a Greek island, and then coming back around to Naples where we looked at Pompeii, Rome, uh, Pisa, Florence, Marseille and Barcelona. You won't want to miss this. Now, what I did is this first video is going to actually spend most of the time in Venice. And one of the reasons I decided to do that is if you book a cruise right now in the Mediterranean, one of the changes is Venice no longer allows ships to come through the Grand Canal. But when we did this, we did. And I will tell you, even today, in here 2021, I look back on our cruise, which happened in 2007, and I will show you some footage of what was some of the most amazing experiences you can imagine going through on a huge cruise ship through the Grand Canal of Venice. And of course, I don't have image stabilization, things like that, so just take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. But at the time, that camcorder that I had was one of the state-of-the-art uh, camcorders. So I'm kind of excited that, that we can look at something that's almost 15 years old, and it's beautiful, and I think it will, will look good. But um, Let's, uh, let's dive into this. First of all, we rode on a princess ship, and at that point, it was uh, the princess, the Emer Emerald Princess, and a brand new ship at the time. Now I look back, and it's not one of the newest ones anymore, but here it is, and then I'll show you our itinerary, and I will tell you that one of the things that I wish I knew now was I wish I would have been able to take some time preparing for the trip because we saw so many wonderful things, but really didn't fully appreciate what we were going to see until we were actually kind of in real time in the thick of things. So I would say if I have a recommendation, if you plan a, a trip like this, um, spend some time learning about the area that you're going, do some research and study before you leave. We were just so jammed and it was such a long trip. We had never been on a trip. This was a 10 day cruise, right? And we had never been on a, on a trip of this length because by the time you fly to Europe and get on a plane and do the 10 day cruise and then get back on a plane and come back to the, to the West Coast where we lived, it's a two week process. And so understand that was the first time we had ever done a two week vacation. In fact, we didn't even have passports, so we had to get passports in order to do this. And so it was just an amazing adventure. And so we'll bring you along. Well, as you can see, when we came to Venice, what an amazing adventure it was. In fact, we arrived via boat. Anytime you take a tour or go look at anything down the canals, you're riding a boat. And this is like a bird's eye view, but it's the opposite. I don't know, it might be a otter's view or something like that, some sort of aquatic mammal. But uh, there were bridges over each of the canals, and it was so fun to walk across those. Now, here we are in uh, St. Marco Square, and uh, it's just amazing. Now, you notice all the people here, and this is, of course, pre-pandemic, and, and I hope we get back to this as well. But uh, when we were on a tour, we would be with, with a lot of people. And just look at that spire as we rise up. It's just an amazing and very imposing structure. And really, the videos don't do justice to what it's like to actually stand here and actually look at some of these structures that you realize that were built centuries and centuries ago. This is a Byzantine style mosaic. Versus this one, which is an Italian style. You know, looking at these pictures from the camera, look at the beautiful and the ornate design. But I'm just showing you kind of a frame at a time, and, and it's sure different when you're standing there watching this whole scene in front of you.
isn't that just incredible? Don't you feel like you're actually on the water? Um, it was an amazing experience. And now this treat that I told you about, we were able to actually go into the Grand Canal on the cruise ship. Now what you're going to hear is the narration of the, there was a, uh, someone who kind of was knowledgeable about that area who gave us kind of a step-by-step -step tour. So I'll, I'll go ahead and leave that clip and you'll hear, uh, obviously they were farther forward on the ship so they could see some things and it wasn't until as the ship moved through that we were able to see them as well. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And this is footage, even if you go now on a Mediterranean cruise, I don't believe you're actually able to see this perspective. So I want to show it to you and I hope you enjoy it and it will just be an amazing experience for you. The white building uh, on the left hand side of it, that is the museum, where you can see these trees here also. And then look from the trees, look slightly to the left, you'll see there is a big poster with a girl with spectacles on it. Well that is the Monica Hotel. Just at the side of it is the famous Harry's Bar. Some of you have went into Harry's Bar last night for a believe. Where, where is it? Coming up on the starboard side, we have the Rendatore, the church where the Doge he would have to come in here and pray before he was an active Doge. Now, as we're looking at this one here, this is over on the oh, girl starboard side cool. as we're coming around. This particular part of the Doge, the, the Rendatore church, I'm mentioning here, twice every year, the whole of this canal, what you've sailed down, they will build a bridge. Originally, it was all the gondolas. They would link together so people could walk back and forwards. Now look at the Santa Maria della Salute. This most beautiful church is one of these that you have to go inside to see it. Possibly the greatest painting, they have the, the wedding at Cana. The wedding at Cana is where Jesus Christ performed his first miracle. And that was the wedding at Cana. Now we can see the Monaco Hotel. Look at the Monaco Hotel, and then look below, you can see right at the side a little...
you enjoy that? I hope you did. Well, as promised, I told you I was going to tell you about the cruise that Karen and I have picked. And believe it or not, in a year, we will be celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary. So we're going to pick a special cruise. And this cruise is going to be a Canada and New England cruise. We're going to actually leave out of Quebec City, going up the St. Lawrence uh, River, around New Brunswick, Newfoundland, those sorts of those sorts of areas to Maine and ending up through Boston and then into New York City. So it will be a Canada and New England uh, cruise. So we're so excited about that. Now my goals in retirement, I want to actually take two cruises a year, but uh, we'll have to see if we can make that happen or not. I'll just be happy to see cruising resume in light of this. So like and subscribe. We're going to have lots of other travel videos as well. And I will pick up um, a, on a subsequent video that will cover the other spots that we went on this Mediterranean uh, cruise. So keep watching and we'll have more of that for you later. Don't forget to subscribe and like My Retirement Quest. Thank you so much. Bye now.